Yeah, I'm dropping the kids. Screaming for you. I am. Where were they dropping the kids at school? Oh, okay. And I told you, I was dropping one of my down the window. Recording. I don't think so. We're just we're just doing we're gonna do a different order. We'll do the uh get the dates and the well and then this old business thing and, and the 60 day extension. I'm fine with that. But so I that's what we're gonna do the different dates. I thought it was weird, it was full moon. Okay. <laughs> Big problem, you never know. <laughs> Uh, I know Betsy's coming. She's coming. Uh, I don't know if anyone else. Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I already have one of those today. <laughs> <laughs> It is, yeah. yeah. My first ever. There he is. There we go. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, it's not yeah. still counting. Yeah, still to see. I'm up by six votes. Oh my gosh. And they have a lot. Uh, cure letters, which I didn't know what that was until recently. Oh, what is it? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, people that vote by mail, um, they have to sign. And if there's either no signature or a, a mismatch, then I think the county sends that person a letter that says, hey, your signature is missing or doesn't match. You can cure it. Oh, boy. So Six I, votes, though, right now. Six votes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, the whole thing is 25% roughly down the board. Basically. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah. well good luck in the next couple days. So yeah. sure yeah. on. <laughs> it's been a lot of high drama from the kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're waiting. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I'm Brian. Yeah. I think everybody here is going to Yeah. I thought we're done for now. So why don't we uh why don't we get started at 7 30? Um this is our regular meeting. Uh, are we we're all set right here? Are we yes. recording? Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. So this is a regular meeting of the Fairhaven Planning Board. Adequate notice of this meeting has been given pursuant to the provisions of the Open Public Meetings Act. At the time of the board reorganization in January of this year, the board adopted its regular meeting schedule for the year. Notice of the schedule was sent to and published in the Asbury Park Press and the Two River Times on February 9th, 2023. That notice was also posted on the bulletin board in Borough Hall and has remained continuously posted there as required by the statute. Copy of the notice is and has been available to the public and is on file in the office of the Borough Clerk. A copy of the notice has also been sent to such members of the public as have requested such information in accordance with the statute. Adequate notice having been given, the board secretary is directed to include this statement in the minutes of this meeting. Uh, 
Roll call, please. Uh, Mr. Roth? Here. Mr. Paolo? Here. Mr. Bordelon? Mrs. Bush? Here. Mrs. Koch? Here. Mr. Newell? Mr. Nitka? Mr. Anderson? Here. Mr. Olson? Here. Ms. Mertonen? Here. Okay, let's Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So uh, we'll rearrange just the, the order of things. We'll we'll do the uh, discussion of the Environmental Commission's Model Green Development Checklist. We'll do that last. Um, but first, let's do... Um, the, the Borough of Fairhaven, Allen Street, Hendrickson, Hendrickson Place, Block 45, Lots 10, 11, and 12, Zone R5, Minor Subdivision. They're requesting a 60-day extension to file the required deeds. Um, does anyone have any comment or problem with, uh, with that request? I would just say one thing. Sure. Uh, at our council meeting on Monday night, it turns out that our attorneys, Greg Cannon and uh, Andrew Sobel are splitting up and in the process of dividing up their business, this kind of got lost in the mix. And that's why they're asking for an extension. So Andrew Sobel has stepped up to take over and they just need a 60 day extension. Fair enough. I mean, do we, we normally grant yes. extensions if necessary, right? This yeah. seems like good circumstances to mm -hmm. do so. Is any? Oh. I'm from Andrew Sobel's office, um, so I just wanted to say that we are in the process of doing everything that needs to be done. Um, everything else is that we're waiting for the will serve letters from the utility companies, um, and then everything will be squared away. So there should be no um, further delay. Terrific. Um, does somebody want to make a motion to uh, to grant the the extension? I'll make a motion to grant the extension for sixty days. <coughs> Second. <laughs> We have a, oh, a yeah. Well, uh, thank Paul. you, Sheila. Uh, yes. Mr. Paolo? Yes. Okay. Mr. Sorry. Mrs. Bush? Yes. Mrs. Koch? Yes. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Ms. Tinka? I'm sorry. Ms. Martin? Yes. Okay. Um, the next, uh, so, so the first administrative item we'll take up is approval of the minutes from the September 19th, 2023 meeting. Which was distributed prior to uh, prior to this meeting with the materials. Are there any comments on those minutes? So I'll make a motion to approve those minutes. I'll second. Mr. Oliver. Yes. Mr. Paolo. Yes. Mrs. Bush. I wasn't there, so I I don't vote right. If you I'm can not. if you're satisfied. Oh, okay. um, yes, yes. Mrs. Koch. Yes. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Mr. Olson? Yes. Stanton? Yes. Okay, so the next item of business is the, the 2024 meeting dates. Uh, and so the, the proposed meeting dates were distributed with the materials. These, these meeting dates are consistent uh, with how we normally um, uh, schedule the planning board meetings. Uh, does anyone have any comments or concerns about these dates? I know you sketched a couple of things out there, which I think, you know, just as a heads up are, are, are useful. For yeah, um, to highlight, you know, January 16th is the day after uh, the MLK weekend and February 20th is the day after President's Day weekend. Um, uh, check the public school calendar for each. There shouldn't be a uh, conflict other than, you know, if people are extending their vacations in any way, shape or form. Um, I will say that uh, one of the local private schools has uh, no school on the Tuesday, February 20th, so that may keep people some away. Um, then March 19th, also one of the local private schools, uh, so right in the middle of their spring break, um, so you might lose people if their uh, kids go to uh, schools outside of the very public. Um, that's it. Could I just say nobody comes to our meeting? Well, maybe a board member may or may not have 
spring break. Do any that board members? You're affected. Yeah. So let's move it. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that there's really no problem for MLK or the President's Day those days, but uh, we've had meetings the week of, of, or you know, the week following those those holidays, and generally they've been well attended. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, in terms of uh, really, just be March. Like, so March 19th, move it to March 26th, but I don't want you to move the meeting this for me. Why not? It's okay. Nobody I'm has an objection. I'm still one person up here, you know. <laughs> well, I think it's important, Dave. I, I think, you know, look, if we know we're going to have, we, we had two instances where we had trouble getting the quorum. So if we can avoid issues where, you know, we, we might have a, a problem. And then also, who knows, right? It's it's matter dependent. So, right. you know, it, it's not attendance. So, I mean, March 26 seems fine to me. I, I mean, I don't have any problem with that. I'm just looking up RFH. Do we know on RFHs, Frank Regents? Right. Well, I think this RFH yeah. and the, the Fair Human Elementary are yeah. the yeah. week of yeah. Easter. That's yeah, it was in. So, okay. these are, these are March. Yeah, so it's March 29th. Easter's on the 31st. Yeah. They're out. Hopefully, they're out. It doesn't matter. So, I mean, I just, I hear what you're saying. I'm fine with these dates. If I'm not playing this board, anything? No. No issues. Okay. So we'll move to the 26th, March 26th. Is that a, give me one second? Oh, I just sure. want to confirm that it's, because it's a two week spring break. I can't remember if it was the 10th, 16th, 17th, 23rd, or, or it's the just give me one second. Just. I don't mean to interrupt. Uh, do you need me to stay for the remainder of the meeting? I don't know if you're you usually conventions is about your attorney. So I don't see the attorney. That's me. It's a, oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I'm good, and I can. Yes. Okay, sorry yeah. about that. I think okay. that. Thank you. Thank 26 you. is good. 26 is good. Okay, so we'll move the uh, March 19th meeting to March on the 6th. Same time, same place. <laughs> And then October we get we get bumped because the council meeting is being moved on to the 15th because it was moved for Columbus Day, which moves us a day forward, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, it's uh, so are we we should we need to make the decision of whether we want October 8th or the 24th? Is that the I guess that's what we have to do? I mean, I would just as soon have it October 8th. That's <clears throat> okay with everybody. I don't think it's a conflict with rec because they meet on the first Tuesday of the month. So that should be okay. Okay. So um, I will make a motion for the following dates. Reorganization meeting will be January 16th. Our February meeting will be held on the 20th the March meeting on the 26th, the April meeting on the 16th, the May meeting on the 21st, the June meeting on the 18th, and the July meeting on the 16th, the August meeting on the 20th, September on the 17th, October on the 8th, November on the 19th, December on the 17th, and a 2025 reorganization meeting tentatively set for January 21st. I second it. Mr. Hall? Yes. Mr. Pella? Yes. Ms. Bush? Yes. Ms. Koch? Yes. Mr. Anderson? Yes. Ms. Holton? Yes. Ms. Stanton? Yes. Okay. Um, so our, our only item of new business today is, is a discussion of the Environmental Commission Model Green Development Checklist. Brian? Yes. Take it away. So uh, I don't have anything to hand out to you. Um, I may, did I show this last meeting that passes around? 
Uh, this is a sustainable New Jersey certified um, green development checklist. Uh, it's very administrative. It comes on this data gathering. Um, and that's not what, or at least what I had in mind. Um, and um, Kelly Flanagan on the green team and I sat down on Sunday um, to try to sketch out what we were thinking. And what it is is, so imagine like a, a trifold and we would have um, a couple of categories, probably one under water, one under land. And we want to narrow it down um, uh, instead of a big long list to just maybe a handful of things. So under water, we would talk about maybe like a dry well, a rain garden, a rain barrel, driveway types, under land, we talked about natives and tree cover. And then the, the format would be sort of a description of what is a dry well. Um, and then something on the benefits, something on the costs, an example, hopefully in town, maybe a picture of like the rain garden at the Millwood School, and then a link to resources. That's the, the structure of it. Um, uh, the We may have a residential one and a commercial one. That's something we talked about. Um, uh, Kelly and I talked about that I may, I may be off this board in January, so we're going to try to get it done before I would leave. So when when you say get it done before you, is, is this a recommendation to council? Great question. No. Yeah, that, so, so that's what what's the process? Yeah. Here? So so we need this board to think about how well, first if we want to do it, um, and second uh, what we would do. And so I'll I'll bring an example of what we would think, and then we want to have that be part of the application. For people, um, do we want to have it online? Do we want to have uh, it something that we can give to people when they come, or maybe we don't like it? Um, you know, one of the. But what, what would we be asked to do as a board? Because wouldn't us as a as a board have to be directed to take action or incorporated into into something in, into something that an application would be pursuant to? Well, would so the way I'm thinking about it is it's voluntary. So this is information for a person, if they're gonna tear up their driveway, or replace their mm -hmm. driveway, to lay out, look, you can do, there's a couple different ways you can do the driveway, the costs and benefits. I'm gonna to try to get a square footage cost for like cement, blacktop, pebble, uh, the pervious stone, et cetera. And, and we're trying, the, the goal is to try, to try to make it voluntary where people can um, not incur extra costs, but make positive steps for the environment. <laughs> Does that make sense? No, oh, it make, makes sense. I, I'm what I'm trying to do is understand and be able to explain to the board and I guess the one public person here what what you know what would we act upon as a board, right? Uh, Betsy, right? I, I mean, it, it's is this something? I mean, we don't do we have the power? To, it, it's you're saying it would be voluntary, but do we have the authority to make a recommendation to you, you know how that, that you know what I'm saying? It's like how did how did we, or would so you, we, you have the authority to make a recommendation, but it would have to go to the council and then they would have to vote on it. Right. And before it could be put in any application, I would imagine it would have to be, it would have to go through the council. Absolutely. Not. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So so right now it's just a recommendation. Okay. Are, are you envisioning like a like under the Environmental Commission's website, like a set of suggestions, as you, as a voluntary yeah. set of suggestions with you know potential cost differences between different, you know, based on your project, you select your project, like driveway, porch, landscaping, right? Like then you could say, these are the different types of things that we- That's a good idea. About. We hadn't thought about that structure, uh -huh. not not by project type, but um, like I said, so so water, there's storm water management, there's runoff into the river, it sort of all, all flows into water and then give some of the, the best practices within water. So that's things like <laughs> slowing down the flow, basically, um, a rain garden or <laughs> rain barrel, um, and then trying to lay out what it is. There's an example in town that people can go look at and the benefits and the costs. And it's voluntary. You know, one thing that's been on my mind is I don't want to try to make it more expensive for applicants and sort of sort of have it come off as right, like, standards for best practice. Yeah, it's standards for best practice. Best practice. It's a, this is what we think is best practice. It's not. Required, but it, yeah, it it's is not obligatory, and it's not. Yeah, but it, 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 it is right. But this is what we've we've 
for your benefit, done research, yes. and had figured out what the best practices are for these types of projects. And if you want to include them in your in your project plan, but, your but we do have ordinances on the books that that um, restrain the amount of runoff yes, through our stormwater management. So you want to make your property as easy as possible to absorb any runoff, especially with new construction. Yes. So that would fit in with it, but it's more of a recommendation rather than requiring a homeowner to do that. Very much. Yeah, is my opinion. I very much want to be a recommendation. Is there any progress on the, the, the new tree ordinance? That was the oh tree? my God, the, through the shade tree or yeah, there it is <laughs> It will be it will be introduced probably though in January. It's not going to be introduced now because there's been a couple of sticky points <laughs> that you know there's a balance between what you ask your residents to do versus what they have to do. So yeah, yeah. Along, along those lines, this is kind of like if you're going to do landscaping, think about native plants, scarce and resources. These are the benefits of native plants here at the negatives, you know, the costs. Um, Which is great, and that's all about education. Yes, it's, it's, that's a great way to put it. Uh, that's the education. So we'll, we'll try to have one for the next meeting. If we don't, I'll still come, you know, in January or whatever. Maybe I'll be on, still on the playing board. You know, who knows how it, how it goes. Okay. Um, I'll bring, you know, once we have a mock-up. Perfect. So think about what you want in there, how to convey the, the optionality of it, not obligatory, and then where does it get delivered with application on the website here, maybe to the builders or the, or the attorneys, I mean, what many spots you could deliver it. Great. I, I don't have any further comments with regards to this. Does anybody have anything they'd like to add? Okay, so there's no action being taken for this item in terms of the board formally acting. Um, I'd like to solicit any any public comment. Nothing. Okay. Um, does the board have any other matters they'd like to discuss while we're all together? Or should we? Uh... Sure. We got we got this riparian zone email um, this week. It's obviously something you, the the council voted on. But are we not? Are we not? Is planning board not acting on this in any way, or is this? Right now, no. So is it part of? Zoning code, then do you know if that per current permitted projects that may not actually be built yet? So, an example, of, it's really more a question of language than it was actually changing anything, mm -hmm. it was changing rights to zone, and it was more, I think, a legal terminology than it was anything else. Nothing okay. changed, okay, it was more reference. Reference. Okay. If you're permitted and you're even if you're absent, you're grandmother. It that's the question. Is yeah. if you know, yeah. I can think of an example Maybe. where there's a application that is permitted through the end of 2024. Yeah. But now there's this new um kind of language language around riparian zones, which is you know necessary, but um, didn't know if that changed things for anybody who was previously permitted. Sure. And they're changing. On a on an NJDP basis, significant. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the Caribbean flood zones have recently changed, and the tidal floodwaters are probably changing. Maybe as early as this summer. Yeah. Wow. And material. Yeah. DDP stuff supersedes very good stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. It certainly sure does. Kind of supersedes everything. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> above the above federal right now. Oh. Thank you. So uh, I'll I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All right. Thank you. <laughs> nice job. Thank Look you. Thank you. It's great. <laughs> I'm a not, not the record. I don't think the record. I had it quickly, but pretty good. That's all I said. Yeah. Take care. Thanks, Sheila. Great. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Sheila. I'm so happy for you. Or me too. <laughs> Thanks, Are you see everyone. I'll see you probably in another year. Thank you. 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 Thank